Welcome to Biology My Passion. Many of you may be preparing for exams now. Some of you have exams already started or preparing for model exams. Anyways, board exams are nearing. Whether it is for the preparation of exams or for general studies, it's always better to have a timetable. Today we'll discuss some features or characteristics or some tips for making a good timetable. Timetable is nothing but it's a planning. It gives some insight on how hard we have to work or how much time is left for us. We will get an idea and we get more focus if you have a timetable. There are many successful students who can survive without a timetable also but still making a timetable will give you a direction. But before we go into making a timetable, you have to accept two facts. First of all, the timetable should be realistic. It should be customized. Don't go to somebody else's timetable and try to follow that. It won't work. You have to consider your own personal priorities, your available timing, your peak time for study, your situation, etc. The same way, second thing to remember is there should be flexibility in the timetable. We are all human beings. Don't think that others are making a timetable and are sticking to it line by line. It's not possible. All days are not same for us. Someday we may not be productive or we may have some other priorities or we may not be feeling well. So, due to whatever reason you are skipping or deviating from your timetable one day or two days or three days, don't give up. Get back to that schedule again and from where you stop, start again and you can compensate the missed portion. Even if you are deviating 99 times from it, come back 100th time. Nobody is perfect. Keeping this in mind, you have to think about making a timetable. So making a good timetable, you have to have three main requirements. Here I am not going to give you a timetable. I am teaching you how to make a timetable for yourself. First thing what you have to do is, list out all the topics to learn. Means all the subjects. Language, if you have, then physics, chemistry, biology, the subjects you have to list out with the contents in that. Now some topics are deleted, some are there. So chapter name at least you write in a different papers. That's the first step so we will have an idea how much to complete. The second thing you take a blank sheet and write the date from which you are starting preferably the same day or the next day onwards till the exam time that not the day of exam at least one week prior to your exam your timetable should complete all the portions it should be dated like that so that you can make in two ways so while making that uh, calendar you can make a plan like this where you are writing all the days it's not necessary like it should follow the calendar pattern uh, so i have written here the 26 that is today's date and like that you can write on top the other uh, day also in this till how much time is available or end of the month. Then you can start filling on this the things you have to do. Not only the study uh, chapters that you have to write uh, or do, you can add many important dates also in that. So every month if you can prepare a plan like this, it will be very helpful for you to manage your monthly activities as well. Another way of doing this is just write the day and date here in the margin and write the work to do or the what you are planning to do against that. That is a simple way. So either of this method you can use. But if you make a column wise then at a stretch you can see many events that are taking place if you can use different colors. For example, if you get uh, the timetable, uh, the timetable exam uh, subject and all you can write with another color. So easily you can see which all days you have exam, how many gaps you have like that. Okay, so that's the second step. Third, your timetable should not be from 7 to 7.30 or 7.30 to 9 like that. Make blocks, blocks of 2 hours because you are all either in the class 10 or 12 or higher classes, board examination timetable. So you are grown up. So you can make blocks. Uh, first you see which is feasible time for you. Suppose you are an early bird, you can start from maybe 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock to, to another 2 hours of uh, learning. And after a break, uh, then you have to have another block maybe two hours or three hours block you can make and also within the block you can give small timing it's not that two hours you have written means you have to do two hours of learning it's not possible maybe after 45 minutes or one hour you can have a small break 
So once you finish this template, now you can start writing all the topics uh, from that you have to pick from the topics that you have written and fill it, fill these days and you see that before one month, week of exam you are completing all the lessons at least once. Once you write your days may not be enough for completing the lesson. If you are starting earlier it would be fine otherwise it will be very tight. Even then don't panic at least you are starting or doing something you have to be appreciative of that. But anyways you have to realize one fact that this is examination time. You have to sacrifice certain things. Maybe you will have to sacrifice one or two hours of your sleeping time or some time from your social media or gatherings or entertainment. All these make sure that maybe two, three, three months or next to one and a half months I am not going for this. After that I have plenty of time. Okay convince yourself about that and add at least two hours to your study time than what you have been doing. Hope you got an idea about how to prepare an effective timetable for yourself. So start making one and stick. try to stick to that and all the best for your exam in advance. I will come with another video on study tips.